people are prepared. People here in Salisbury, they know the drill. That's why you see things like this up and around when you're driving around town. These sand walls and sand dunes in place to help protect from potential storm damage. Take a look at this video we shot during high tide today. You can see wave after wave crashing into the Salisbury Beach shoreline. And then take a look at what happened to me when we were gathering information for our story. Both the wind is picking up and the waves you see are picking up during this high tide. You see that swell that just crashed right here behind me here and residents are keeping a close eye as things can change in the blink of an eye. About a mile down the way near people's homes, the waves were much smaller than what you just saw. A sigh of relief for these beachfront homeowners who are still recovering from back to back powerful coastal storms in mid January, which did a lot of damage. Do you have an emergency plan in place? The water basically runs down either side of my house. My house is pretty high and in front of my driveway the, um, never really hit so I can get into my pickup truck and at least get out if I need to. No route or anything to hold it in place. Robert Glendon, who you just heard from there, says he spent nearly $15,000 of his own money preparing for winter storms, putting in sand, hay bales, fencing, and labor, none of which, he says, is reimbursed by insurance. And back out here live, you can see that things are quiet in Salisbury. Again, a sigh of relief for people living along the coastline here.